So there's some chaos in the Forex market right now as the Japanese yen jumped massively, causing a lot of the currency pairs to drop significantly. We'll explain that, what's going on, and more in this video. Check it out. So let's start with the market heat map. You guys can clearly see if I scroll down to where it says Japanese yen, the one day performance, we are seeing some pretty impressive drops across the board. Now, why are these things dropping if the Japanese yen uh, is so strong? Well, it's because remember in currencies, we trade the first currency versus the second currency. So if we're saying the Japanese yen is getting very strong today, what we're saying is that, for example, in this column here, the Australian dollar is weakening rapidly relative to the Japanese yen. Uh, and the least of the hurt assets so far is the Euro Japanese yen, uh, with the war, uh, with the worst performer being Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen. And in this video, I'm going to try and cover whether or not I think that these things are a buy on the discount, uh, and what the heck is going on with gold within all of this context. Now, first of all, let's talk about the news. The latest is that Japan holds their interest rates, uh, but widens their yield target range. And the market very much said about this, they were like, okay, that means buy the Japanese yen. Here's the Japanese currency index. You can see it gapped up massively uh, in just a single day. So the Japanese yen looking very, very strong out the gate. And with it, let's take a look at what's going on with the dollar. The dollar is down tremendously. We're looking at a 30 minute chart as the dollar plummets here past the lows, uh, even on a relatively quiet week like it is uh, now for Christmas. So an interesting time to say the least. Uh, if we continue to take a look though, we've got USDJPY, you've got AUDJPY, EURJPY, pound JPY. The story goes on and on. The question is, Nick, is there a trade here? Should we be buying this dip? In my opinion, I'll say right off the bat is no. I'm not an interest, I have no interest in trying to buy this thing. Although sure, in a couple of days I might sound foolish and you know things could be back up here, the risk on this trade is very high because the Japanese uh, central bank just released a big statement that could potentially have followed through for days and days to come. So not something I'm looking to jump in front of, but rather in fact, more to be on the sell side of. So if I take a look at, for example, Euro JPY, if this thing were to pull back, there may be sell side opportunities, but not until you get up to like 144, which is a long way away and might even be past the 61.8. Yep. So it is just out of the question for that particular currency pair for any sort of trade setups in the near term future. Uh, now, if we take a look at, uh, for example, maybe pound yen, pound yen looking very, very sell heavy. If I look at the four hour chart, there may be something here where if I draw from the swing high to the swing low, this is a little bit of a higher time frame trade. You have something around the 50% retracement as price potentially comes up to this previous zone. Uh, so if you do see a bit of a rally, I would say more so on the sell side than anything else. And this very well could happen with low volatility during the holidays. Sometimes you'll just see markets just sort of slowly correct back from where they came. It's a very common thing uh, across the board as people just sort of take profits or move their money out of the markets for the short term. So possibly a retest on this. Now, of all the Japanese yen volatility, I'll tell you guys, my personal favorite thing to be paying attention to is actually gold because gold is moving with some beautiful momentum right now, despite, again, the holiday season being a very low volatility time for other assets like, you know, the, the S&P 500 or, or things like that. Not so much the case for gold as we're seeing a little bit of a Christmas rally for the gold market. So, you know, each year people, there's a, a slight historical bias uh, to see the S&P 500 rallying. And we're actually seeing a little bit of that on the, on the Dow, but gold actually seeing quite the pop here this morning. And in my opinion, for day traders and swing traders alike, there may be some opportunities here. If I, if I mark from the swing low here up to the swing high, you'll see we get a beautiful 38.2% retracement uh, that could be something worth noting if price does ultimately pull back. I do like it on the long side. I called this out in my live stream today and it is something I am seriously interested in. So if price pulls back on the gold market, I'll probably be looking to get involved uh, around the 38.2%, looking for a quick continuation with a relatively tight stop loss in case I'm wrong. So let's say I take that trade and I put a stop loss 
below, probably the 50% retracement, give it a little bit of room to breathe, and then looking to target or trail stops uh, upon reaching the highs again. Again, crossing nicely over the 1800 mark today. Gold, like I said, looks more like a buy than a sell in my view. And just going off of uh, momentum here, I'd be happy to try and join the move with a, uh, a reasonable stop loss within there. So that's something I'm looking at for the gold market here today, which is probably one of my favorite setups. Let's go back to the edge finder and see if there's anything else uh, to note. Again, a lot of the yen crosses seeing big explosive moves to the downside and people are saying, hey, you know, a lot of people trying to pile into long trades. I can tell you that right now. Um, so my view, you know, when you have big drops like this, if anything, the edge finder does have some bias, I believe on CAD JPY. So let's see if any, if any of them, GJ, and CAD JPY. Both of these are Japanese yen crosses that I have some interest to actually potentially pick up sells. And again, the edge finder, what it does, if you're new to my, my channel, it takes all these different indications into account, uh, things like inflation data and the GDP growth of the relative countries involved and seasonality and smart money tracking and retail sentiment, and it gives you a total bias or score outputted here. By the way, if you guys wanna try out the edge finder, if you don't already have it and you wanna check it out for yourself, it's a great time during the holiday season to pick it up. Uh, you can either purchase it using the link in the description, or if you wanna try it first, just click the link in the description. We'll drop a link there for you to pick up a free trial of the tool before making a purchase. Um, so yeah, if you want access to it, there's how you get it. And again, the one that looks interesting is uh, CAD JPY to me. So if I look at this thing on the four hour chart, what you'll notice is that we had a clean break of consolidation, right? Price holding the tops, price holding the bottoms. But on this candle, not only did that happen, but we saw an explosive move to the downside, completely breaking through uh, support and the lower bottom of this channel. So for me, a retest of that area could actually offer some nice continuation to this downtrend. CAD JPY has taken a real beating and uh, entered into consolidation with fresh news giving us a strong catalyst to the downside. So if anything, like I said, this thing looks bearish on a retest of uh, broken support. And then the other one was pound yen, which I mentioned briefly before. Uh, a possible pullback to like the 50% retracement could offer some opportunity. Now, of course, we might need to... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, we may need to uh, revisit this one as this may or may not be the bottom in, right? It's possible that this thing could continue lower before popping to the upside, uh, in which case, you know, we'll have to reevaluate our Fibonacci retracements. But generally what I'm looking for is a retest of structure before looking to get involved. And even when getting involved, looking for it to line up with some sort of fib level, um, you know, this this big move offers some opportunity, but we have to be patient enough to wait for the trade to come to us. So that's my personal thoughts on the Japanese yen crosses here today. Uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're new for more free content, and we'll see you back in the next one. Catch you later. It looks like you made it to the end of one of my videos. Thank you so much for supporting my content. It really means the world to me. And down below in the description, I put together some of my best resources for aspiring traders who are looking to improve. I've got some free downloads that could help you, some broker recommendations. And if you'd like to join our Discord or get access to some of our trading software, all of that will be linked down below in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.